Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if the escape key simply stopped working in Windows 11. But before we dive in into any solutions, make sure to always test your keyboard. Maybe something's wrong with it, if it's a wireless keyboard maybe you have to change the batteries, or simply check the cable to make sure it's not faulty. All these things are very important to check before diving into any solutions basically because it might be a hardware problem. And if you still see that this hasn't been solved, you can jump in into the solutions. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to run the keyboard troubleshooter. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon, and then make sure that system is selected on the left pane, and then on the right side, scroll down until you find the troubleshoot category and click on it. Now in here, click on other troubleshooters, and afterwards on the right side, scroll down until you find the keyboard troubleshooter and click on the run button button next to it. Now simply wait until Windows will detect any issues and if it's the case it will solve them automatically. You can then close these windows, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to update the keyboard driver. To do this, right click the Windows button then select Device Manager from the list of options. Now in here, in the Device Manager window, make sure to expand the keyboard section and then right click on the standard PS2 keyboard device. Now select Update Driver and from here on click on Browse My Computer for Drivers. Next, select Let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer and as you can see you have the compatible hardware and the model in here. Click on it and then click on Next and you'll see that Windows has successfully updated your drive. Now you can click on close, restart your computer, in my case I'll just let it be and then check if the problem still persists. And lastly another useful solution is to turn off the filter keys. To do this press the windows button, select the settings icon and afterwards click on accessibility on the left pane and then on the right side scroll down until you find the keyboard section and click on it. And now in here all you have to do is make sure that the toggle for sticky keys, filter keys and toggle keys are turned off. So if any of this is turned on, just make sure to turn it off. Now you can just close this window, restart your computer once again and check if the issue is solved. Another great method is to use DriverFix which is a free updater application for Windows. So basically DriverFix scans your whole system and then searches the web for the most recent drivers. And from there on you can choose to update the drivers you need manually or all at once if you upgrade to the Pro version. So make sure to check it out and get it for free by accessing the link in the description below. And that was it. Super simple, isn't it? And as usual, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and of course subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thank you.